War? What kind of war? Yes. We were preparing for a war against a powerful enemy that required the joint forces of the entire demon race. I have said more than I am allowed to say. This conversation will be terminated. I have said more than I am allowed to say. This conversation will be terminated. It's happening again. The same pattern of events occurred back when I asked Baruka questions too. The system is terminating the conversation by force. This probably means my conversation with her had some kind of clue. Leveling up, instance dungeons, quests, missions, rewards, penalties, and job changes. All of these things have created a game-like environment, so it wouldn't be far-fetched to assume that these monsters are just another element of gameplay. What kind of powerful enemies were you preparing to fight against? Well... Missile. The system reacted strongly when I asked her about her enemies. The powers of the system are otherworldly. If the system happens to be influencing me or the world at large, that means... The enemies that the demons were battling... Could they hold the answer to all this? A magic beast! Quick, barrage it with attacks! That is no ordinary beast! What the hell is that thing? It went straight for our healers. Our weakest E rank hunters were attacked first. After decreasing our numbers, it got rid of our healers in order to weaken our forces. It knows that it'll be put at a disadvantage the longer this battle drags out. Is it a beast with intelligence? This black box recording is the only footage of the ant we have. The mutant ant that appeared recently was defeated in a single day. It was first discovered on a small island next to the region where it was exterminated. We gather it must have traversed here after completing its hunt on the island. Thanks to the hunters who responded to our emergency call, the threat was successfully eliminated. Four E-ranks, one D-rank healer, and one C-rank leader died on the battlefield. An A-rank hunter who joined Midway was the determining factor in the successful extermination of the ant. Long story short, you're saying that it's going to take at least one A-rank hunter to take down a single mutant ant. There have been 294 civilian casualties due to this mutant ant. A total of 108 hunters were dispatched. While that might seem like an excessive number, since the mutant ant had the ability to sense danger and fly away, the Japanese Hunters Association believes that their response was reasonable. Out of all the countries in Asia, Japan has one of the most well-organized systems set up for their network of hunters. That said, if Japan suffered this many casualties, who knows what might have happened if the ants had flown over to the mainland Korea. Much like Japan, our country has many islands as well, but we aren't capable of monitoring each and every one of them. An island 150 kilometers away from Jeju was attacked. The fact that the ant flew that far means they're capable of flying not just to the coastal provinces, but all the way to the city of Mokpo as well. If they were to change course, they would even be able to reach the northern regions of Jindo and Wando County. Ants that can fly, eh? They're more like bees than ants. South Korea can't send hunters to every single island like Japan did. We lack the manpower. Even if we deploy a couple of low-ranking hunters, they'll just become ant food. Who would come to the aid of South Korea in this situation? China, or maybe Russia. They have a multitude of hunters available, but by the same token, they also have a vast amount of land to protect. What about the United States then? No, they refused to come to our aid back when the first S-rank gate opened. I have a headache. Mr. Go. How may I help you, Mr. Wu? I didn't mention this during the meeting but we've been secretly contacted by someone. Secretly? By whom? By Mr. Huang Dongsu of the Scavenger Guild. He notified us that he'll be partaking in the upcoming Jeju Island raid. His intentions are quite clear. Indeed, sir. His target is Sung Jin Wu. So how did you deal with him? I've put in a request to deny his entry into South Korea, using the conflict with Mr. Baek Yoon-ho during the Redgate incident as an excuse. However, Mr. Huang is not the only hunter who contacted us. There's someone else? 
The call was from a national level hunter. Let me introduce him to you, sir. Please come with me. Huh? When did I fall asleep? You awake? Looks like not all demons are friendly with each other. These guys tried to attack you. Wait, did you protect me while I was asleep? Thank you. Demons without intelligence don't consider demons with intelligence as one of their own. How long will it take to get to where the entry permit is? A demon's castle inside a demon's castle. Where's my father? He's in the throne room, Lady Essel. Who is that man behind you? He's a very important guest of mine, so show respect. Father? I've brought someone with me. Is this the throne room? If I had fought my way here, this is where I would have had the battle against the boss. Issel, what, what, what have you done? Who's that man next to you? He's my guest, father. What kind of guest brings along an army of soldiers? What? Are you incapable of seeing them, Essel? There is a throng of soldiers hiding behind that man in the darkness. I guess he's got sharp senses. How dare you bring soldiers into my home? Father! I promised Essel that I'd leave this place if she hands me the entry permit. Is he the one that's been killing off demons at an insane speed and clearing the floors of this castle? Although we are nobles, the Rataru clan sits low on the pecking order at 20th place, making us one of the weakest clans. He was able to defeat Vulcan and Metis, so there's no way we stand a chance. The entry permit, is that all you want? I have one more request. I'd like to borrow her for a bit. Essel said she knows where all the entry permits to the top floors are. In order to locate them, I need her as my guide. But maybe I've said something wrong. A guide. You want an entry permit and a guide, that's it? I guess he misunderstood me when I asked to borrow Essel. The fact that I'm negotiating with a human right now hurts my pride, but... If I'd known this monstrous human was the master of all those dark soldiers, I wouldn't have engaged in battle with him. You won't put my daughter in danger, correct? A monster that is worried for his daughter, huh? You have my word. Very well. It's an entry permit. Now that I'm on the upper floors, am I supposed to get these permits from each of the demon clans? Can we leave right away? Yes. A party system? I can share my experience points with party members, but it's distributed in proportion to the amount of contribution, so... If we happen to go into battle, don't even think about joining the fight. I'll take care of everything myself. Okay. Will you be okay without your horse? Only party members are allowed to move to other floors, so I can't take a horse with me. Jinwoo, sir! Wait up! This is liquor that the chief of the Garsh clan likes. My father prepared gifts for each of the clans. Why? If you take this with you, you'll have an easier time negotiating with... Negotiate? Are you guys on good terms with the Garsh clan? No. Back in the demon realm, hierarchical disputes among nobles were commonplace. But I can assure you that the Garsh clan is at least reasonable. Good to know. Wait here. It won't take long. You're very fluent in English, but I'm not sure if I'm understanding you correctly. Do you really not know the whereabouts of South Korea's 10th S-rank hunter, Sung Jin Woo? He's a hard man to pin down. Our surveillance team is having trouble locating him. Hmm. How am I supposed to trust what you're telling me? The South Korean Hunters Association is not foolish enough to lie to a national level hunter. I see. Oh, oh, by the way, I heard my man Hwang Dong-soo caused a bit of a scene here in Korea. He's an S-rank so we're in no position to tell him what to do or what not to do. My man Huang dong Su, He talks as if Huang dong Su is an American hunter now. Sung Jin-woo is one thing, but I also came here to ask the South Korean Hunters Association 
to deny Huang Dong Su's entry into this country, though it seems you've already gone and done that. Yes, you're correct. Then it looks like we don't have much more to talk about. I'll give you another call if I ever need anything in the future. I'm not a short man by any means, but next to this guy, I'm like a small child. Things have been pretty chaotic in Korea lately, cause of what's happening in Jeju, huh? Did my visit here give you false hope? It's a shame. I would have liked to help out with the raid in Jeju, but I'm a very busy person. However, it'd be a different story if South Korea were to have the funds to hire someone like me. I'd better get going now. I have a plane to catch. Would it be all right for a hunter from the surveillance team to accompany you? By all means. Ah, by the way, make sure everything we talked about here today stays on the down low. A national level hunter. Mr. Wu, do you think it was foolish of me to think that man would help us with the Jeju Island raid? No need to worry, Mr. Go. Japan has agreed to work with us. A hunter from the largest guild in Japan will be making a visit today. I'm getting a lot more experience points now because my opponents are on a higher level. Also... Looks like my shadow soldiers can advance to the next rank once they reach a certain level. Except... force of nature. Egress is now as strong as an S rank, and Tank is now as strong as a top tier A rank. Excuse me, Jinwoo sir? You don't have to call me sir. Um, Jinwoo sir? Do you know how many clans you've destroyed so far? We're on the 89th floor now, so excluding your clan, I think that makes nine in total. Starting with the 90th floor, the top noble clans manage each floor. They're significantly stronger than the high ranking nobles. If you can reason with them like you did with my clan, they just might be willing to hand over the permits. If I were weaker than your clan, would you guys have talked things out with me? That's just how it is. Besides, you said that there have always been hierarchical disputes between demon clans. I'll make the Radish clan number one. The name of my clan is Radiru. Um, Jinwoo? Sir, why are you looking out for my clan? Because I've taken a liking to you. Oh, uh, what? She reminds me of Jinho. Am I just the kind of guy that gets along with dorky people? Just as Ezel had warned me, the difficulty level grew exponentially higher starting with the 90th floor. There were many more monsters guarding the castle, and all ranked higher than the demons I had battled on the lower floors. Even though I increased my intelligence stat, the battles have taken a huge toll on my mana, because my shadow soldiers have been repeatedly destroyed and regenerated. That doesn't mean I got past the 90th floor due to pure luck, though. He defeated the Ricardo clan, which is the fifth most powerful clan, and went on to defeat the fourth most powerful clan, Patos, as well. Are all humans as strong as you, Jin Wu? Uh, there are maybe one or two others. Go Gunhi and Cha Hai In. They definitely felt stronger than the other S ranks. Just based on the aura they exuded, it seemed like Cha Hai In was a few tiers higher than Choi Jong In, who's known as the ultimate hunter. In other words, there's a difference in strength among S ranks. In fact, the difference may be even greater than the difference among other ranks, since the mana levels of S ranks can't be measured. I think I might have been on the same level as Mr. Go in the past, but now that I've climbed all the way up here, things might be different. You can go back downstairs now. From here on out, I'll figure out the way myself. What? Am I not useful to you anymore? She's a funny one, all right. You've done a good job. Thanks for all your help. No, I'm going with you. I want to see what you can achieve. What's with all the commotion? 
There's someone extremely powerful here in this airport. More powerful than you, Mr. Goto? Maybe I was wrong. Why would someone like that be here? My apologies. It took some time to get through the crowd. It's all right. Is there something going on at the airport today? Oh, a hunter from the United States is visiting South Korea. He's here on personal business, though, so there's no need to be concerned. An American hunter? I wonder if he has anything to do with the recent events. This way, please. So this man is Goto Ryuji, the only hunter in Asia that can stand on equal footing with Liu Jigang. He's no ordinary man, that's for sure. There are currently 21S rank hunters in Japan, and 11 of them are members of the same guild as Goto Ryuji, the Blade Guild. Unlike South Korea, where there are five major guilds competing against each other, a single guild holds all the power in Japan. Everyone knows that Goto Ryuji Guild is the second largest in Asia. The largest is a Chinese guild. Hello, my name is Hanakawa and I am Mr. Goto's interpreter. I will be relaying Mr. Goto's words to you. Due to the recent disastrous events, we have come to the conclusion that Jeju Island can no longer be neglected. That said, we pledge to give Korea our full support. Their full support? Let me get straight to the point. The reason I've come here is because I want to form a United Strike Squad composed of only our top-ranking hunters. What do you think about this idea? A United Strike Squad? You want to create an alliance in order to attack the ants at their base camp? Yes, exactly. I know that Japan's top hunters are extraordinary. However, attacking Jeju Island, the heart of their colony, is just too dangerous. As we are dealing with an S-rank gate, we've prepared a strategy. These are the files documenting the data we've gathered on the ants. Every single ant rivals the strength of a high-ranking hunter. However, they possess a fatal weakness, a short lifespan. The ants are only capable of living for one year. Therefore, if we can just kill their queen, all of the ants on Jeju Island will die within a year. We just have to eliminate their queen, huh? It certainly sounds like a more realistic plan than exterminating the entire colony. But in reality, trying to kill the queen will be as hard as trying to defeat thousands of ants. Don't you know that the ants will die for their queen? Of course. We'll have to get past thousands of ants in order to capture their queen. However, we won't have to battle them if we can get the ants to leave their tunnels. Is that even possible? Yes, it has happened before, three times to be exact. Back when South Korean hunters arrived on the shores of Jeju to carry out a search and destroy mission. The ants left their tunnels and headed towards the battlefield. Impossible! The events have been confirmed by our mana radars. Please refer to the documents for details. Ten of our 11S rank hunters, including myself, are planning on participating in the Jeju Island raid. We will be in charge of distracting the ants. Please have South Korea's top-ranking hunters defeat the Queen. The rest of my fellow guild members will arrive shortly. What the? 10S rank hunters including Goto Ryuji? If the 10S rank hunters successfully create a diversion, only the Queen and a few of her guards will be left inside the tunnels. This is the plan. My S rank hunters will first split up into teams and attack the island from all directions. The ants will swarm toward the sites of our attacks, while the queen remains in the empty tunnels. The South Korean S-rank hunters will take a helicopter to Jeju and infiltrate the tunnels. After defeating the queen, they'll board the helicopter again to evacuate from the island. It certainly sounds like a plausible plan. But why is Goto Ryuji willing to mobilize 10 of his guild's S-ranks for this raid? All national-level hunters have raided S-rank gates before. Considering my previous performance records, once I finish this Cheju Island raid, I'll be high enough on the ladder to be worthy of a national level title. Obtaining a national level hunter title will be enough of a gain for Japan. This is an S rank gate we're talking about, so I've carefully selected 10 S ranks to participate. I must minimize the risk factors. The South Koreans have no good reasons to decline my offer. This isn't the most righteous way of doing things, but in order to become a national level hunter, I have no other choice. Unlike Japan, there are only eight S rank hunters in Korea, and out of those eight, only six are realistically capable of participating in the raid, as I am too old and Min byung -gu has retired. This strategy would not be possible with just the hunters in South Korea. The real question is, 
Are we even capable of defeating the boss of an S-rank dungeon? Will we able to defeat the Queen? Sung Jinwoo defeated the boss of an A-rank gate all by himself, so if he were to join forces with the other S-rank hunters, we might have a chance. The ants are evolving quickly. Their entire army may acquire the ability to take flight soon. We can't afford to delay any longer. I understand. Once the documents have been assessed, we'll send you a detailed plan. This is the 100th floor. a remarkable force. Will I be able to defeat this monster? <laughs> 